Hey guys, um, welcome back. Uh, today I'm gonna be doing um, pickups. Um, it's not very much, but it's it was needed. Um, my aunt gave me a newspaper recently, and I opened up a new toy store in my relative area, and um, they opened a few weeks ago, and they are called Holocron Toy Store. Um, they're in Fort Worth, and. There, it's kind of like a museum slash toy store, and they have all sorts of different Star Wars stuff there, but it's a solely dedicated Star Wars store, which is pretty cool because I'm used to ones with a lot of different stuff. And so it's more specific, and they had a lot of good specimens on card and box, and they had some foreign things and some really rare things. Like, they had some Vlixes and Vinyl Cake Jawas and Yak Faces and Blue Snaggle Tooths and... Tons of box stuff. They had a lot of droids, Ewoks. Um, but right now, I'm still trying to complete my, my first set. Um, as you can see, um, well, these are general figures. Um, I picked up one of the last 17 Ewoks. I didn't have him. Uh, I believe this guy's Pat Plu. That is not Pat Plu. Um, cannot remember his name at the moment, but I got Endor Leia. Um, just her, none of her outfit. Um, I got a good deal on her, and her paint is really nice. No hair rub. The only little rub I can see is right on her fingers, right there. Her other hand's good. Nothing on the boots. So I got her. I got my first red guard. Well, actually my second red guard, but the last one... Had a lot of issues. and was missing the top layer. The bottom one was ripped and paint was gone and I tried doing some things to fix them and it just made it a lot worse so I got me a new one my mom got me this for my birthday um I oh I got a new squid head or I don't forget this guy's name I had a squid head before but that squid head did not have his outer coat or his little tunic or belt he does not come with his gun I still haven't gotten to that part. I'm just still trying to get capes and stuff right now for him, but he I got him for a good price, and so um, I got him as well. Uh, sticking with the uh, upgrades, I got me uh, another Lando. Um, this one you just have a little bit of red paint, which I'm going to try to get off. And his hands are in good shape. The vinyl is not ripped. I just cleaned it a little bit ago. Um... There's a little bit of loss of paint. Actually, no, his hair is good. His mustache is a lot a little bit has lost a little bit, and so is his eyebrow right there. But um everything else is pretty good. So there we go. I'm gonna replace them. I got me a another Bespin Leia. Now this one I got because of her cape. Her cape is unripped and very clean. There's a little bit of a crease right there. But I think a little bit of hot water should be able to get that out. Um, but she has this weird paint like stained right on her. So what I may do is switch her actual body out for the other one I have. And just use the cape. Or I may try to get this thing off because the rest of her, her hair is good. Oh, there's a little bit of marks. But her eyes are all clear. Hands are decent. They're better than the one I have. And the gold is still semi there. But I got her fairly cheap as well. So, And the last guy I picked up was Droopy McCool. And he's in really good shape. Now I know he's not part of the actual like 97 characters or whatever. But um, he's still not a character they made. So I got him. I already have Sice Noodles. And um, they didn't have... Um, I was, uh, they didn't have the blue guy. I forgot his name. The guy who plays the piano. They didn't have him. Um, but when I was there, he was cleaning a huge tub filled with, like, action figures. He must have got a huge lot in. I would say probably about maybe 200 figures. It was ridiculous. And there was tons of Last 17. There was, like, I saw Imperial Dignitaries. Um, I saw last 17 Ewoks, I saw Imperial Gunner, I saw Lando, Calrissian General Outfit, um, I saw Dagobah Monsters, I saw um, tons of stuff. There's stuff I didn't even see in there that he told me about were in there. 
Um, but I'm going to be going back next week because he said he should put them out by then. But um, this is a lot of good. And I, I got to use my my Star Wars Ultimate Guide to Vinci Star Wars and stuff. I bought this a little bit ago and I really like it. I might do another video on it. But just uh, if you guys haven't already seen this, let's see if I can back out the camera a little bit. Current is it tells you, it shows like really detailed pictures. And it shows what all the characters are supposed to come with, like weapon wise, um, which is really good. And it gives like price guides on mint on card, um, loose, mint to complete. Uh, and it's also a lot of help. And then like it gives variants, but I like it a lot. I take it out into like when I'm hunting in the wild, because in the back, past the droids and Ewoks and 12 inch figures. It has every single playset made, vehicles, um, playsets, and it all shows really detailed pictures of all the accessories. So if I'm looking through a box of random parts and I might find something that I think may be in there, because I can go check and I can find exactly what that went to, or if it's not something, I don't have to get it. I've actually used this in the wild and done that before. I came across... An entire set of Death Star struts um, for not the not the Palatoy version. I wish, but uh, just the regular one right here. Let's see. I believe they're on the next page. Yes, I found a complete set of struts, all unbroken. That was the only parts they had. I asked. And uh, it was kind of sad because I was hoping to find, like, the, oh, here's a box of parts and the rest of the Death Star. But no. And that guy actually just ended up giving them to me. So that was really cool. Um, last thing I have in the video, the way the guy has them, which I really like, is he has all his loose figures in a big glass display case. And so you have, like, all your red guards all lined up. And they all have on these little clear acrylic plastic stands they all stand on. And below them, which I've already taken off, were these round price tags. And so, like, it would say, like, $8 or $10 or depending on the figure and condition. And um, you get these when you buy them and stuff. And you can also purchase the disc from him in, like, mass quantities, which I may do to keep all my figures on these little stands because I really like them. And, um... That was pretty cool. So I have about, let's see, two, four, six, let's say about eight. I think that's wrong. Let's see, four, yeah, eight. So that'll do some of the ones that aren't on stands right now. But uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.